All right, let's uh, continue here. A high-profile ANC official is appearing in court this morning. This is in connection with the 2017 murder of former ANC Youth League Secretary General Cindy Somakata. At the time of his death, Makata was a PR counselor at the corruption-ridden KZN South Coast Umzimkulu municipality. A businessman and two former members of the tactical response team were also arrested. Reporter Samgele Masego is keeping an eye on this story and he joins us live now from Umzimkulu. Samgele, good morning to you. How is the leadership of the ANC in KZN reacting to one of its own being arrested. Yes, uh, Koli, we spoke to the provincial secretary, that would be Mdumiseni Nduli, yesterday, who said that this is the first of its kind to happen in the province where an incumbent leader of the ANC who sits in the provincial working committee, who is a PEC member elected at the conference that was held last year, last year at the Durban University of Technology, finds himself fingered in a murder case uh, of assassination against the former SG of the ANC Youth League, that would be Cindy Somakaka, who was a PR counselor here in the Umzimkulu local municipality. To remember that particular evening of the 13th of July, Cindy Somakaka with two other councillors were met with a hail of bullets in one of the local shops where they were engaging. That was going towards a regional conference that was going to take place here in the Harry Gwala region, which subsequently never took place. Totally. But as it stands, the ANC's PEC, through its spokesperson, through its provincial secretary, rather Mdumiseni Nduli, saying that they are shocked and they are going to be dealing with this matter first of its kind to happen. We understand that they are currently in a provincial elections uh, uh, team workshop at the provincial office in Durban and later on they will be meeting uh, as the ANC's officials, the top five here in the province, and they will deliberate on this matter. But just not to go far, well, let's just listen to Sile Zigalala, the incumbent uh, provincial chairperson of the ANC uh, of, of the province. When you are speaking at the Morane Commission, speaking about the political killings. The solution to the problem of killings lies in unraveling and understanding the motives for the killings. All the violent killings that have occurred during the period under review. So, Samgele, that's uh, Sihle Zagalala speaking there on this uh, hot political potato of uh, killings in KZN, in particular of politicians. Talk to me about when it is that we can start naming this individuals, this high profile figure. We can only start naming this particular individual Koli once has appeared here at the Umzimkulu Magistrates Court. I'm not sure if my colleague Bonga can show you the visuals, but it's not yet clear because there is a pillar that's blocking us. There is a heavy police presence here in the Umzimkulu Magistrates Court. I'm just, I'm just going to move away from short and it's going to try and show you some of them are getting a briefing in the corner inside the premises of the Umzimkulu Magistrates Court. I've seen about three inyalas and one uh, water cannon truck that's here to uh, uh, basically do public order policing. We understand that there will be a, there will be a march that's coming here to Umzimkulu Magistrates Court. But only not to name this particular individual, but I know as a matter of fact, that whilst you were still on the field, you spoke to him whilst he was still the Deputy Provincial Secretary of the province, and you posed a question to him, if it were to be found that these political killings are inside the ANC and it's ANC leaders who are perpetuating these political killings, how would you respond to him? That was your question, and he or she simply responded by saying, if it is found to be within our party, we will get that member out and we will root them out of the ANC, end of quote. That was the response from this particular person, he or she. It would be rather interesting how they would respond now since they are being allegedly, the key word only being allegedly fingered in this assassination and plot of the former PR councillor here in Umzumkulu and the former secretary general of the ANC Youth League and who was a staunch uh, ANC supporter and volunteer and leader here in the Harry, in the Harry Gwala region of the ANC. We've seen a number of those who are in support of him and his family who have converged here in court. And one of the people 
who testified at the Morani Commission, Akoli, uh, is making his way here, and he said that he lost a particular friend when Cindy Somakaka was gunned down, saying that a number of political killings here in the province have not been re resolved. I'll go back to far back as 2011, when the former regional secretary of the Eteguini region, Sibu Sosbia, was gunned down outside his home in Enanda. I'll go to the lower south coast region after the 2012 NGC of the ANC, where the former ANC Youth League Regional uh, Provincial Secretary and then King, uh, King Maker in that region, one deal in Kize, was gunned down. Till today, there's been no resolution to those political killings which go far back as a five, or five or six or seven years ago. Thank you very much. That's uh, Samgeli Masego giving us a comprehensive um, briefing there ahead of uh, this appearance of this particular individual and uh, make no mistake that person that he speaks about we've lined up that soundbite for you